Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims for Two Broke Girls with me, Little Miss Simmer. So in the last part you will know that we are on vacation with our new boyfriend. Um, what's his name? Porter. Um, Porter Duncan. He is Camilla's boyfriend. Yes, she finally has a boyfriend after being such an awkward turtle for so long when it comes to men. She finally begged herself a man and we're on holiday with him because she stupidly started flirting with another guy um, while they were out on a date and she's trying to put it right basically. So we're going to just socialise with him a little bit. Um, oh, we're going straight in for the kill. Okay. Um, because we just wanna, we just wanna have a good date, you know, Not out in the forest. We'll blow him a kiss. We'll oh, serenade what? him. <laughs> He's so her type, I can tell. And I was thinking, in this part, we could move them in together, like move the other, <laughs> the twin boys in with Cassie and Camilla. Not permanently, but just to help us get a bit of money. I mean, they're unemployed. Oh, their house is empty. <laughs> they seem like they need help. So, we could propose for him, that's not happening. So, you know, we could have them be scientists and we could have them bring in a ton of money as well and we'd literally be raking it in and then when we've when we've got our house we can decide whether we want to keep them or give them the boots. Um, so, yeah. Sit and talk to your date. Well, there's nowhere to sit. Where even are they? They're like in the middle of nowhere. Right, I guess they could come and sit here sit here together please get your lips off each other's faces oh look they're running simultaneously <laughs> they're a perfect match i definitely think they suit more than um cassie and her boyfriend this is this is camilla isn't it i get them mixed up all the time right we could do a sexy pose and we can be enticing well that's disappeared now i'm um, asking a risque question blow him a kiss compliment his appearance um, but yeah I was thinking of moving them in so they can help us get a bit of money um, we could just put them in tents in the back garden or something instead of building onto the house because we don't want to waste any money we're currently on 34,540 which is really good considering we started off with basically nothing right she wants to give him a massage one of the dates as we have to give him a massage so um, we don't even have the choice but it's just to tell him a story so we will tell him a story We'll tell him a funny story. Where are you going? Just going to chat with him. Why can't you sit? Probably because he's a single seat. That's why. But yeah, so we're only here for a day or two, so we're not going to be here like forever doing all of this. This is probably gonna. They'll probably be um back home by somewhere during this part uh, right guys you know what it's time to do oh my god he's just coming here ruining the state what the hell who is this no you're not going to chat to this man right i'm gonna make put her needs up just because i don't want to have to go and find the toilets you know how you you guys know by now how lazy i am when it comes to needs when i'm in the middle of something and i just you know want to carry on what i'm doing i don't i don't want to have to go you know and uh but this is literally the only cheat I use, and you guys know that, so. I want to get a really good date. You have to have a deep conversation with him. You're not going to talk to this man, you're talking to your boyfriend. Yeah, because you're having a deep conversation from all the way over there. Right, we just have to give him a massage now, but it's not going to let us. They're going to sit here together away from this man hopefully well te oh god he's following us technically it's already um it's already a gold date but i really want to give him a massage um just we've done all of them give massage there we go seriously dude piss off there we go we got a gold date so we're gonna end it early and we got a gold award. Apparently we got something in our inventory too. So when does this when does this when does this end? Go to lodging. Seven eight. I hope you're looking after yourself, Cassie. I'm gonna get you to tend to the garden for a little bit. Because I don't want it to die while we're away. We could use this as an opportunity to harvest and take cuttings. 
Remove wild plants. No, don't do that. That's not very nice. We could use this as an opportunity to collect some rare bugs and stuff. And rare um, plants to plant in our garden. And then we can graft them and they'll be worth a lot of money. So let's take a cutting of this and harvest it. Is there anything else about? These are not bugs. Here's a lodging. We will take a cutting of this. She found some stink bugs. Stink bugs don't sound very nice. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, is there anything else around? Try and find some, some stuff to harvest. There's not, there's not, I can't really see because of the trees. Uh, there's not, there's never much around here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna collect this. Is this something? What is, oh, they're flowers, hee <laughs> my bad. And we'll collect these. Oh, and there's a fishing spot, guys. Should we do some fishing? Well, their fishing skill I don't think is very high, actually, so... She's fishing level four, but I guess we could come. What are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? Oh my god, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to ask what he is doing here. Right. She's going to catch the dragonflies. She's going to do some fishing now. Isn't it just beautiful? I love Granite Falls. I love Granite Falls so much. It's just the most beautiful place. I wish you could live in Granite Falls. I wish it wasn't just like a holiday destination. I wonder if she'll catch anything. Come on, Cam. What did she get? She caught a catfish. I guess we could sell it because we keep it in our pocket and it's going to go on nasty. She reached fishing level 5. Well done, girl. I hope you guys are still enjoying this Let's Play. I certainly am. She just caught another fish. She caught a yellow perch. Um, I certainly am. I really want to get the house back eventually. So, just got to keep working towards that. I think I might mount this one. And I'll mount the catfish as well, wherever it is. I can't find it, there it is. Just so they don't go all smelly. We'll only fish for a little bit longer. She caught a trout. Right, head back to the lodgings, please. Oh, there's a loading screen. Oh, I can't wait to, like, upgrade my computer and get rid of these. My loading screens, believe it or not, take, like... 10 minutes and it's because I haven't got enough RAM I think and it's so frustrating because there's so many loading screens like I've been playing The Sims 3 and it's been so nice just being able to travel around do what I want without any loading screens whatsoever unless I go into cars it has been so lush and I just ugh. sometimes I do get sick of them so he's not he's not here but I do want to end I don't know where he is should we call him? Let's call him. I don't know where he's gone. No. Alex isn't our boyfriend. D where's he gone? Um, He's disappeared. There he is. Chat with him on the phone. Come on, can't we invite him here? Where is he? I kind of want to end the vacation early and head back. No, we are not quitting job. Yeah, end vacation. Let's go home. No, not extend. I thought that said end. Travel home. Yes, I want to travel home. There we go. We went on a nice vacation with Porter. We hope we made up with him. Their relationship's pretty good now. We got those are cute little pictures, and they did some stargazing in the last part. And um, we went on a little date, and I think everything is patched up with them. 
I'm pretty sure they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. But I think we should move them in and get them into the scientist career because I haven't done the scientist career yet because I gave up on my get to work LP because it was an absolute mess and I hated it and nobody else was watching it. And um, so it literally, it got me, the, No, there was no views. There was like two views on it every single time. And I thought, why am I doing this if no one is watching it? Like I'm not enjoying it and no one's watching it. So why am I doing it? <laughs> that was literally, that is literally what I thought. So, let's change out this outfit and get back into our classy, classy wear again. You know, you know what those these girls are like. They like to stay sophisticated. She's been looking after the garden pretty good. Um, but that's, oh, we can graft something. Right, what's this? This is a spinach plant. Right, I'm not going to do any grafting. Actually, I am. Hold on a second. Certain things that you can match up and they graft into a new fruit. Um, or a new vegetable or a new plant and some of them are really expensive and really rare so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up quickly on my little iPad which ones um, make what before I just go ahead and guess grafting and hopefully it will quickly tell me grafting and combos this is what I'm looking for right here and hopefully it'll let me know what I can make with what we have. We have pretty much everything, I'm sure. Right, so we can make a death flower, an orchid, a bonsai bud, a dragon fruit, a cow plant berry, a pomegranate, a bird of paradise, a parsley, and a plantain. I think that's everything we can make from, from grafting. Um, but, yeah, so if we have what do we have here we have some tomatoes some onions what do we want to make i kind of want to, i don't really need to make a cow plant berry because we've already got one but then again when these grow up we're going to sell them because they're worth like 450 simoleons each so if we got a dragon fruit basil basil spinach daisy let's have a look over here these are strawberries these are trees, uh, potatoes and mushrooms, onion, tomato, dragon fruit, dragon fruit. So we've got dragon fruit and snapdragon. Where's snapdragon? So it says dragon fruit plus snapdragon makes a cow plant berry. I don't think we have any snapdragon. So we're going to have to go and find some. These are bluebells and these are daisy. So I guess we could go and we could find some snapdragon. I know there's going to be some somewhere because these they're really common. So um, let's go and dig these. And I will go and I'll try and find a snapdragon. These are bluebells. This is a frog that we can go and get. Little, little pixies flying around. Snapdragon, yay! We will harvest and we will take a cutting. That was quick. Right, speedy up. Dig these for me. My little gardener lady. Gonna make us lots of dollar. Come and dig this too. Dig for treasure. Yay! We can make a cow plant berry. Why are you tense? No, don't go and talk to this lady. We're going to come back to the household. And you are going to make me a cow plant berry so we're gonna graft with snapdragon and hopefully it will make us a cow plant berry all new splicing recipe has been discovered check the notebook to see what plants Camilla can create spice of life unlock a new plant type through grafting so we got a new little achievement there so if we look at the notebook it says we we got a cow plant berry from snapdragon and dragon fruit so did we just get it in our pocket what nice spliced plant dragon fruit cow plant berry and snapdragon what does what does that mean right well we'll fertilize it anyway with some spinach or something and we'll come and we'll harvest all We'll evolve some of this stuff. I will do, actually no, let's do all of that off camera. I kind of want to see what happens with this. So I'm going to keep my eye on this. 
Um, but the house looks pretty, no it doesn't, I was going to say it looks pretty tidy, but actually it's a mess. Right, so I'm going to get her to tidy up a little bit and then we're going to move the boys in. Um, I'm going to go and uh, we're going to invite him over in the morning maybe because it's a bit late. And um, and we'll get some tents for them so they can live out in the garden because they're not living in my, oh hello, we can sell you now. Um, yeah, I'm not really going to befriend them. Yeah, 400. Look at that money. Right. <laughs> so hopefully when we get another one, when we grow another one, we will um, get some money from that as well. So let's open these. And open these. And we can sell, start selling these. Um, we've got 190 simoleons for our potatoes, guys. And we can sell this. And we can sell this. And we can sell this. We got so much stuff to sell. All our fish that we don't need. Thirty-eight smolens for our carrots. I want to breed the frog. Oh my god! Why? Why have we got so many frogs? We can sell this. Um. Nope. We need to keep the painting. We can sell some of our onions. Oh my god, what am I doing? Just put the frog down! Right, she's not putting... Right, we can... Okay, my game's glitched. My game has glitched. Right, if I do this... Right, there we go. Right, we can start selling some more stuff now. It's not okay I give up now it's not letting me grab it so I'm just gonna I'll do that off camera because it's probably proper boring to watch yeah in the morning we can call the girl the boys over and we can move them in and we can get them into the scientist career so why don't we make a special recipe yes let's make some gummy bear pancakes because that sounds absolutely delicious and I wouldn't mind some right now myself we're doing so well guys we're doing so well so freaking well we're gonna be loaded before we know it gonna make some gummy bear Can pancakes especially with four people helping with all this oh god she's sick again right we'll have some milk to make ourselves better oh that looks delicious we will call to meal hopefully that's gonna make it better i'm gonna go to the toilet as well and then we'll eat some of these beautiful pancakes I've got auto lights on just to save on the bills. I don't even know if we have any bills right now. No. How are you getting on? We haven't seen you for so long. Get up. Go to the toilet. Say hello to your sister who's been on freaking holiday. Only for a day. But you know. That, that become best friends. This is the perfect time to become best friends. When you've been separated for an entire day and you've never been separated in your entire lives. Oh god, when do they have work? She has work in three days. She has work in three days. Oh, brilliant! Plenty of time to do what we like. I told you to become best friends. Please. Oh, you're not going to be best friends now? I see how it is. Well, at least hug her anyway. You haven't seen her for so freaking long. Like, how was your holiday? Get some gossip from her. Flash crazy eyes. Impishly pesta. And grab some of this and not this. <laughs> right, apparently it's an unpleasant conversation, so why don't you just stop? Right, go and eat whatever you were eating. And I'll clean this up. Right, we need to call we need to call the boys over. So and <laughs> let's hang out our current lot. Alex and Porter. Porter is sleeping. You knobhead. <laughs> right, well, she's kinda tired herself, so she's probably tired from all that woohoo at work. I'm gonna get her to come and write some more. No, we're not donating to a charity. Of course not. We need donating too. Right, open notebook, no. What were we um, right write resume writing bare naked and stalk graving fads. <laughs> what a name. What a name. Right, get writing girly. 
Money to make. We got some money to make. And it takes you a while. You know it does. Right, I wonder how that weird plant's going on. It needs watering. And get her to do that when she wakes up. Strange, strange plant. I wonder what it will become. I might get her to call him again, see if he'll come over. Because I really wanted to do that in this part. I really wanted to do that. Well, we'll just call one. Is he coming? Yay, and she reached writing level nine. Oh my God. We can now submit to the literary digest, which literally means we get the highest royalties ever, which is amazing. So you can stop doing this. Friendly, ask to move in. It looks like he's gonna move in with us. We're gonna merge households. He probably doesn't have any money, so I'm not expecting him to bring us any. Do you know what we could literally do? We could, <laughs> to get money, we could literally find some really rich sims. Um, we could find some really rich sims, sell lots and all furnishings. And no way, no way. Oh my, did you guys just see that? Did you see how much money they had? We could literally buy a house right now. <laughs> we could literally buy a house right now. I feel like I've cheated. I feel like, oh my God, no. This was not supposed to happen. Uh, oh my God, what have I done? They've got all the money for their house now. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Look how much money we have. Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? They've got all the money for their house. I guess it's not their money because they've just moved them in and got the money from them. Oh my god, what do we do? Do we go and buy the house? Do we, get, do we just go and get their house back now? No, no way. I can't believe this has just happened. I feel like I've just cheated. I was not expecting that. They look so poor. Oh crap! I guess we can, can, can carry on the LP in the house, the big house. You guys will have to tell me what you want, you know. I'm not gonna buy the house in this part. I'm gonna see what you guys want me to do, you know. We could move them back out again and start from where we were. Um, but I, I thought they were so poor they had no objects in their house. I was like, what, what? I don't understand. So, um... Yeah, I might get them to join the scientist career anyway, and then we can go to work with them, and, um... Oh, he's a personal... He's a professional pianist. No wonder he's got so much money. No wonder he's so rich. He's He hasn't got a job, though, so we can get him to join the scientist career. No wonder they're so rich. He's a professional piano player. No, they don't make a lot of money, do they? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, we're going to get him to join the scientist career. Yeah, I was working three days as well. But yes, yeah, so basically, we've got the money for our house, guys. Do do we go and buy it? I mean, could we probably see the house from here? It's in Willow Creek. Oh my god, look at all this. The house is in Willow Creek. Look at that cityscape. Um, but it's obviously not going to let me see the actual house um but yeah, but yeah guys yeah so you'll have to let me know do you do you want me to go and um you're gonna come do some garden for me dude you're not you're not just gonna sit there um and or yeah should we buy the house and carry on the let's play with their story or actually i have a plan for these girls which has kind of gone out the window now because they're in relationships but I don't know whether to reveal it to you now. I guess I should because I was going to reveal it when we got the money for the house, which we now have. But my plan was to have them... I was going to make them do the bachelorette challenge and I was going to have them try and find themselves a love. That's why I wasn't really trying to get them boyfriends. And then I thought, but these are twins and they're twins, so they have to be twins together. They have to fall in love. And um, But really, it makes... Right, you're about to go and flirt with this man. So I guess that's just solved my problem that he's about to go and flirty introduct introduce himself. 
that's relationship over. If my boyfriend went and flirted with another man, I'd be like, relationship over, straight up, no fucking problem. He's flirting with this man while she's asleep. Oh my god, you dick. If I see one more flirty interaction out of you, that's it. That is it. Whoa, look at those royalties. He just cheated on her. I feel bad for her. Look, the relationship's gone down already. Okay, that's it. We're breaking up with him. Camilla, get up now. He's just cheated on you. I'm sorry, we're not having that. We're not having that. This is the right one, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. You just cheated on my girl. So she's officially a bachelorette, so she don't need your ass anymore. We just took you on holiday and you went and flirted with another man. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? And of course it's going to go and freeze now when something epic is happening. Goodbye. Relationship is over. Boo boo. Do not be sad. Do not be sad. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than this. No one ain't going to cheat on my girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Right. Well, you can move out of my house. <laughs> You have been here five minutes and you cheat on her straight away, right in front of her sister, in her face, while she is sleeping behind her back. I do not think so. I think we should ask him to leave. I think we should ask him to... We are not begging forgiveness. We are not begging forgiveness. Can we ask him to move out, please? Is that an interaction? I, I think I think we should criticise his woohoo techniques, even though actually no, because they had fiery steamy woohoo, which was obviously pretty good. Um, but we need to throw a drink at him. I I think we definitely need to throw a drink, because you know that's just what happens when someone cheats on you. You throw a drink in their face, don't you? You dick! <laughs> she has not had luck in love, and even when we thought she found love, she didn't because he cheated on her with another man. I don't care. You're out of here, dude. Goodbye. You need to leave. How do I move him out? How do I move him out? Can you do it on the computer? Household. Move household. You need to leave. I'm sorry. Nobody cheats on my girl like that. No, get out of my house. Get out of my house. I don't care how flirty you're feeling. Get the fuck out of my house. You can stay because you ain't done nothing wrong. I thought you were the bad one. I didn't like you. I liked you. I liked the other one. Because I thought the other one was nicer than you. But no, apparently not. You need to get out of my house, dude. You don't cheat on my boo-boo like that. You do not do that. Mm -mm. Right in front of her sister while she's sleeping. Right behind her back. Right after she's given you a home, some food, a place to rest your head. And you go and do that. I do not think so. Mm -mm. I don't care. You do not flirt with a man another man oh no i'm moving the whole freaking household right well maybe then i have to go into managed worlds right we'll move him onto an empty lot we're not moving all of them i'll move him into an empty lot on his own so he can be homeless you can be homeless all on your own and have nothing i do not care you have you've you've broken her heart <laughs> you've broken her heart i think I don't know. Should we keep? Should we keep Cassie with? Should we keep Cassie with Alex? Or no? Is she gonna want to stay with him after what his brother's just done? But then again, if I think about it, if my boyfriend's twin did something, I wouldn't blame on him because it was his twin, not him. Um, <laughs> See, so yeah, I guess we could have. I was gonna have them both be bachelorettes, and that's just like gone wrong. Right, let's go into manage worlds, save, and go to manage worlds. Yeah, we're gonna we're getting him out of here. And we'll, and you'll have to, guys, <laughs> I can't speak. You guys will have to let me know, you know, do you want them to move into the house? Or shall we stay where we are and just, I don't know, it would be boring if we stayed where we are. Because we've, we've completed our goal. Um, I've, um, I can't believe this has happened. So much has happened. So much has happened in this part. Right. Manage households. Split between households. Out. Did out of my house he takes twenty thousand with him so i guess he needs something to survive but i'm tempted just to move him to like magnolia promenade where we like never go there we go oh no is he just moved we don't have to pick where he lives now he's just gone yes yes perfect so yeah i don't know well, what should we do with the rest of this part i have no <laughs> i have no idea i kind of want him to be a scientist 
So we make him quit his piano job? We'll have to see how far he is in it. If he's not very far into it, if he's like level two of the entertainer career, then we'll make him quit and we'll, we'll pretend that he's found his true calling. You know, a scientist and a doctor together. That is an incredible combination. You know, they could do big things with the world. They could make some true discoveries. Right. He's actually level seven. He's level seven. But he hasn't even got the piano skill. So he's not really going to get very far. And I can't really be bothered. Yeah, let's just make him quit. You're going to be a scientist, dude. I don't care. So quit your job, please. How did you get to level seven without actually having the piano fucking skill? How? How? Right. Uh... Quit job. Please. Go cry it out cry it out camilla cassie where are you you need to go and cheer up your sister she is sad look what's just happened to her the worst possible thing don't worry we're gonna get you a new job yeah that's right get your goofy ass out of my house right we're gonna get you a new job don't you worry poor camilla she's so unlucky in love what are you doing you evil girl stop trolling that's not very nice do something useful resume your actually no do something useful go and cheer up this poor poor sim the the poor thing give her a hug brighten her day she needs her day brightening it's been dampened by this dickhead reveal a deep secret to her you're like i know do you remember when this happened to me um and we will deliberate a medical theory get her to talk about work to take her mind off it do an impression to cheer her up Express your admiration for her. Tell her how much you love her. She's your sister. And we will flatter her to cheer her up. And we will flash crazy eyes to make her laugh. Come on, Camilla. It will be okay. You don't need him. You don't need him. Let's propose a crazy scheme. Let's kill all men in the universe. <laughs> no one cheats on my boo. No one. Mm -mm. You don't do it. You don't do it. Uh, we should we should have got a voodoo doll and like terrorized him. That would have been so much fun. Become best friends with her because you didn't do it earlier. Best friends forever. <laughs> best friends forever. I love you, sis. I love you. Let's take a picture together because that's just adorbs. Right. Take a photo with. Camilla Jensen. I love these girls. I don't want them to go. I want them to stay. I want them to stay forever. Take a picture then. Angie. No. Take a, pi take a picture with her. Angie. I love that. That's probably the only simlish word I know. But who cares? Right, this is so cute. I love these girls. I love them. <laughs> I'll take one this way. I'm going to take the rest of them this way. There we go. Let's have a look at them. They're probably absolutely appalling quality. We took more than one. But there we go. How cute. And we'll keep that next to the fridge. It's a shame you can't put pictures on the fridge. How cute would that be? I can't put pictures on the fridge. Um, but yeah, we we still got all this stuff to sell, but we won't worry about that now because we don't really need to we don't really need to sell anything. So guys, he doesn't have work for three days, so we can't really go to work with him. But I am going to end this part here. It's been so eventful. I don't think it's been as long as I'd have liked. I can't believe we took him on holiday. We made up with him. And then he goes and flirts with a man behind our back. When we give him a house. We give him food. We, we invite him into our home. And he goes and does that to us. How dare he? How dare he? So that means it is over. Between Camilla and Porter, it is over. And um, I don't know what the future is for Alex and alex and cassie you know he might decide that he wants to go and live with his brother he might want to go and stay with his brother he might not want to stay with her um you know he might not want to leave his brother despite what his brother's done and despite his rocky relationship with camilla he might he might end up wanting to go and live with him and stay together because you know these two twins are inseparable they will they will never do anything alone they will be together forever they've made mistakes together and they're putting it right together and they finally got the money to get the house back and they've you know it's come as a surprise you know they've 
earned the most that they could and by some surprise and twists and turns of events we've landed ourselves at 560,000 simoleons um, and they can get their house back. The decision is whether to take Alex with us or not because the next the next phase for these girls is finding love and getting married and settling down and having children in their big huge house together because they do everything together and they will never they will never be separated ever so yeah they so you guys will have to decide whether in the next part we should go straight for the big you know the big buy and go and buy the house and have a big party and celebrate and you guys will have to decide what the future is for alex and cassie so i hope you enjoyed this part and i will see you next time bye guys (laughs) 